Hey guys, hey look, I'm taking a break today for just a couple of minutes from the normal reaction videos. Just to talk a little bit, you saw the title down below, talk a little bit about some criticisms that came along as a result of the Dan Vass slash Nightwish uh, mashup that was done very well, may I add, uh, from another reaction channel by the name of Viking Reacts. Now, first of all, let me just say this real quick. Uh, if Viking Reacts is watching, I want to say thank you very much for the kind comment that you left on my channel. That was really, really nice. Uh, for those of you who know him, uh, if he doesn't see this, if you wouldn't mind passing the uh, sentiment along. Uh, again, he left a very nice comment on my channel. I went to his channel and actually watched a few of his reaction videos and took a look around. I mean, he's got some great, great stuff. So for those of you who know, you already know. And for those of you who don't, hey, Viking Reacts, great channel. Check it out. Um, but again, so I want to just say this, you know, and, and criticisms come along a lot. In fact, I'm going to be doing an episode coming up very shortly uh, about, you know, some people have asked, you know, how did you get into reactions and, and, and you know, what, what about it do you, you really find interesting? And so I'm going to be doing that uh, coming up very shortly. But again, as an individual reactor, there's always criticisms. You know, people are going to be, you know, criticizing this or that or the other thing. And I'll talk about that in that episode. Uh, but specifically today about the Dan Bass slash Nightwish mashup video, you know, the thing that I have to say, first of all, is that everyone has their own opinion, okay? My opinion may be different from yours, yours may be different from mine, your guys' opinions may be different from each other, and that's perfectly fine. It doesn't ever have to lead into an argument or a big heavy dispute or whatever. Uh, it can just be a healthy debate. It can be a great conversation, and everyone can learn something from each other. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, case in point, you know, when I first started doing this channel back a couple of years ago, you know, I would feature some Journey episodes and, um, you know, and, and, you know, so people would be like, hey, Steve Perry, he's the greatest. Or, oh, you know, Arnell, no, he is the greatest and he's the best of all time and et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, for a while I tried to stay out of the conversation and I, you know, was like try to be diplomatic and not really, you know, make waves one way or the other. But eventually I began to realize that, hey, this is my channel. So I have a right to say what I want to say. But not only that, um, but it's also my responsibility. It's what I should be doing, right? I should be giving you my honest opinion about things. If it lines up with what you believe and what you feel, then that's great. And if it doesn't, hey, then I think we both have to accept that and move on because most likely if I don't agree with you today, I'll probably agree with you tomorrow or vice versa. And that's the way that it should be. At the end of the day, it's all about the music, right? So uh, eventually I did come out and just eventually say, hey, look, you know, I'm just going to say this. I think Steve Perry is the greatest of all time. And I actually did an episode a few episodes back where I literally the whole episode revolved around that concept of why I believe Steve Perry was better than Arnell Pineda or any of the other lead singers and why. Not just my opinion, but why I felt that way. Uh, and I think the primary bulk, if not all of the, the comments that came along on that episode in response to what I said, uh, were all in favor of Steve Perry being the great, the best lead singer. Again, I'm glad people agreed with me. I'm, I'm not sure. I didn't seem to see any, if I remember correctly, I didn't see any disagreements. I don't know where all the, the Arnell fans were on that particular episode. But um, again, you know, nothing against Arnell. I mean, he's a great... He's a great singer in his own right, and I, I will give him his dues. But again, I just felt like Steve Perry, and I still do, is the best lead singer of all time for Journey. Now, taking that concept and now applying it to this right here. So I know a lot of people have been Nightwish fans for a long time, and a lot of people have been Dan Vass fans for a long time. But the fact that you've been a fan of a specific artist, whatever, doesn't necessarily mean that if something comes along that maybe is a little bit different, that I feel personally really kind of adds value to the process, then maybe it's something to consider, something to really consider. Um, you know, I saw some comments where people felt like, well, it was not really, you know, it was kind of a, a, a slap, I guess. I think the, 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 the idea was against Floor and Nightwish. I don't see it that way at all. I think actually it added value to the actual song. Uh, you know, another comment I made, and I don't know if it's still out there or not, but someone actually said something about Dan being a third-rate karaoke uh, singer. I fundamentally disagree with that. I fundamentally disagree with that. I don't feel that way at all. You know, I think they both have excellent, uh, you know, uh, histories. I think they both uh, seem to, you know, they both have great vocal ability. And there's no reason that there can't be room for both. Now, you know, for me, I went to Dan or to Viking Reacts' channel, the Reaction channel, as I said previously. And I kind of looked around and looked around at his playlist section. I saw a Nightwish playlist. I saw a Dan Vass playlist. And I saw where Viking Reacts had actually done individual reactions to both Nightwish Last Ride of the Day and Dan Vass Last Ride of the Day. Uh, but, you know, doing that mashup video, I feel like he saw and heard exactly what a lot of us saw and heard. And what I actually said, I think initially when I first heard Dan doing a Nightwish song, I think it was probably the Everdream episode, where, wow, wouldn't it be great to have these voices together? And so when you watch that last Ride of the Day video, you'll hear Floor, you'll hear, for the primary bulk of the song, where most people are used to, of course, just hearing Floor throughout the song, and then Marco comes in from time to time. 
Um, and I get it. But then, you know, with this particular matchup, you had Floor and Dan for the primary portion of the song, Marco coming in in his usual spots. So there was times when I heard Floor and, and Dan throughout. And then I heard Floor, Dan, and maybe Marco. And then I heard Dan and Marco. And I'm just like, this is fantastic. You know, I don't know if Nightwish has actually seen that matchup. If they have, I hope that they're proud of it. And I hope that they feel that Dan did it justice. Because I really feel, you know, or that, you know, Viking Reacts did the, the mashup justice. And that Dan did their song justice. Because I think he absolutely did. Uh, so all of this to say, you know, there can be room, uh, you know, for agreements. There can be room for disagreements for sure. Uh, but, you know, I don't think that there's any reason why... People should be feeling that Dan did not do well and that that was just a, a, not a good video that, you know, they feel like, well, it should only be staying a song with, with uh, Floor and Nightwish. I think Dan did it very well. And someone said something like, you know, there's a reason why only females have done that song before. I don't agree with that. Again, I don't agree with that at all. I think that Dan did it very well as a male. And I think that his voice really carried, really resonated with me on that song. You know, another case in point, recently I did an episode with, uh, uh, it was the Sound of Silence episode of course, we all know that song from Simon and Garfunkel. I'm sure other artists have covered it as well. But, you know, I did the Disturbed version. Now, there's a lot of conversation out there, as you can well uh, imagine, probably well aware of, you know, where people are like, well, it's Simon and Garfunkel. Their version is always going to be the best. Other people are like, no way. It's Disturbed. Hey, and I think, you know, when you think about it, um, I think a lot of people who are used to hearing that song for years and years and years and years with Simon and Garfunkel or someone else, whatever, uh, you know, if that's the case, then when someone like Disturbed comes along and does it where it's obviously a, in a different genre and there's a different sound to it, I can see where they're like hesitant at first to welcome it. But hey, it can be embraced. You know, I've heard Simon Garfunkel for many, many years, as many of you have, and then heard Disturbed's version. I'm like, wow, that's a new take on it, and it's excellent. In this case, I don't think that Dan changed the song really at all other than to lend his, his excellent vocals to it. So again... Hey, there's going to be, again, disagreements, agreements, disagreements, opinions, whatever, that maybe don't line up with each other. But um, I just want to give my opinion on that. I felt like I really needed to go ahead and do that. I didn't just do that video. I mean, I did the video because you guys recommended me to do it. I didn't know anything about it to start with. But I also am not saying that I like the video and I like the mashup because I feel like I need to let you, not, you know, tell you guys what you want to hear. I did it because I really, really enjoyed it and I really thought it was excellent. And, again, I think that Viking Reacts and for those of us who like the video and who who appreciate that, you know, we heard probably all together what, you know, is out there, what the possibility could be if those, you know, if those artists could ever get all together on the same stage. I think it would be a fantastic performance, like I said. So, anyways, just want to address that. Uh, again, thank you, Viking Reacts, for your kind comment on my channel. And I look forward, like, you know, I like I say, I look forward to seeing more uh, Dan Vass, uh, hearing more Dan Vass music, seeing more Dan Vass videos, and doing more Dan Vass reactions on my channel, as I do with uh, additional Nightwish episodes coming up. So, you know, I'm making room for everybody on the channel, and I hope that you guys can do that as well in your hearts to welcome them both. Even if you're not familiar with, you know, you're not used to hearing both those voices together, but hey, you know, I think the more that you guys will check it out, the more I think you guys will agree with me. Okay, well, that's it for today, and I'm going to go ahead and get back to doing what I normally do, uh, which is the reaction videos. And I don't know what it's going to be coming up, but I'm sure it's going to be something great. I'll see you then.